Happy NaNoWriMo. How you guys doing? Are you doing okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so good, I don't think. <laughs> I made 9,000 words this morning. <gasps> Yay! If you're new to this insanity, we are talking about NaNoWriMo. Yay. National Novel Writing Month, which is November. And today we are going to talk about where do you nano and when do you nano? <laughs> so where do you nano? I typically write at my kitchen table because um, my dog knows that that is the place where the human works and is not to be disturbed. However, she doesn't care and will usually just put her head in my lap or try to paw at me Aww. for attention anyway. But I, she's supporting you. She is. I love her to death. She's such a good <laughs> puppy. And sometimes I will sit on the couch and my um, four-legged nano buddy will curl up next to me while I write. Oh, how sweet. I yeah. want a four-legged nano buddy. <laughs> Maybe next year. Um, I typically write at my kitchen table as well, or I will sit in my sunroom and write, or my couch. Mm -hmm. But I think if in more normal times, uh, cafes, mm -hmm. I could definitely see like sitting in a cafe and or a local coffee shop and or your favorite coffee shop, wherever that may be. Mm -hmm. And writing could lend some creativity and infuse yourself with energy, particularly if maybe you're in a writing slump mm -hmm. or outside. I love writing outside. That's kind of in November. That's kind of like what, why I like going into my sunroom because mm -hmm. it's, all windows and the trees and the flowers or the dying plants and the leaves that I have to rake are surrounding me. And depending on where you sit outside, like it can create a good ambience. If you're writing, yeah. you know, you're talking about like the dead leaves and stuff. Well, if you're <laughs> writing a creepy story and you go and sit outside when it's like gray and cloudy out that yeah. can or if can you're just so writing a fun fall fiction those the birds and the cool breeze and the oranges and the browns and the rustling leaves offer that ambience as well another place to go the library ta da mm -hmm. We, um, now I, um, I'm kind of a, I'm a private person. I don't like the thought of people seeing what I'm writing. So when I go out in public or if I go, sometimes I have gone to write at a library, I usually pick a secluded corner or like our library has a small study room and other libraries have multiple study rooms. Like you could rent one out and, and sit yeah. and write. So you're out in a different environment, just not out in the open but other people don't care yeah so I'm not I kind of like the private as well but I'm easily distracted so that's kind of why I like the quiet secluded corner uh, because I'm not as distracted but I do like having a good window that I can peer longingly outside uh, so and see <laughs> and and feel the sunlight because that's the important thing for me is feeling the light and the natural light and so forth and having a good drink whether it is an iced drink or a warm cozy drink is imperative as well so, so having a, we've talked about where we nano how about when we nano yeah are you a morning person do you prefer to write in the afternoon the evening in bed at midnight all of those times are valid. <laughs> Getting a good night's sleep is important. You have to have a good foundation to start and end your day. Yes. Otherwise, you may start typing nonsense, as I did a couple of <laughs> days ago when I tried to stay up till midnight. Right. It's very important 
to not write nonsense or to wake up several hours later in the middle of the night with your light and your journal open and be in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> and like, no, I'm gonna finish that sentence tomorrow because I don't know where I was going with that. Like me, the other night. <laughs> Now, I usually like to, uh, I usually like to write a little bit before work. Maybe I could get in like 100 or 200 words or something yeah. before work. I, it's, it's a nice way for me to start my day. And, but most of my writing I do at night because I work during the day, so. Yeah, and I, <laughs> I'm like Lauren, I like getting a couple, like a page, 150, 200 words done in the morning while I eat breakfast. Uh, I have a tendency in November to write during my lunch break instead of reading during my so lunch I break. So I definitely like doing those little spurts because they're like, I can get a half hour done, that's no problem. And then writing at night because like Lauren, we work during the day. Mm -hmm. I am definitely envious of the those who are participating participating in NANO who have, who are retired, or maybe they're a stay-at-home parent, or they have decided to write full-time, and they have those eight hours during the day to write. Although, we do each get a day off during the week when we work the weekends. <laughs> And I can attest that still the writing does not always get done. No. <laughs> because I'm like, oh, I need to get this, this, and this done. Yes. I have all afternoon to write. <laughs> and now, all of that to say, with regards to when do you nano, if, you, if your answer is whenever the muse hits me, don't wait for your muse. Do not wait for the muses. She's, they are fickle beings. She is not coming. Just no. right. I have found the muse hits when I want to write least. So when I force myself to write, then the words just kind of pour out of me. Like, oh, I'll write this sentence. I'll write the next sentence. Oh, that's how that conversation is gonna go. Or that's how that explanation and description is gonna go. And then three pages later, I'm like, oh, I did it. <laughs> my muse tends to hit me when I'm sitting at my desk at work. And then when I get home, my muse goes, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to write. That, that happens too. It's that when I can't too. write that, it, that my brain yeah. starts going. Sometimes I find it easy, like when that happens, just to write a quick note. Mm -hmm. And like maybe I can pick it back up. But like I said, she's a fickle, they are fickle beings and... That's not always going to happen. You have to force your muse. You can't live by your muse. Talk about exactly. our upcoming NaNoWriMo events. Yes, let's do that. So we have a couple November events coming up. Our first is a weekly event. It's Writer's Salon. You can find more information about that on our November calendar on our website. Link down in the description below. Uh, but that is Monday nights at 6.30. We start with a warm-up prompt of five minutes. And then we move on to writer sprints and maybe little topics that are relevant to things that we as writers are having problems with. Maybe that fickle muse or finding time to write or how what we're thinking in our heads appears so different on the page and is perceived differently by the reader. That's going to be a big one. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. It is. Join us. <laughs> you want, and I mean, it's an hour of time where you get to get words on a page. Write those words. Write the words. <laughs> And we have a couple authors coming up. Why don't you talk about that? Yes, we have Ethan Joella coming to the library on Saturday, November 20th at 1 o'clock, I believe. Yep. And, and on Tuesday, November 30th at 6 o'clock, we have Tony Sklama coming. 
Um, Ethan Joella wrote the family drama A Little Hope. It's going to be published November 16th. And Tuesday. Yes. Yay. And it is available on online retailers and browse about books. And Tony Salama wrote the medical thriller Wrongful Acts. Yeah. That is also available um, on online retailers and browse about. So definitely check it out. They're both excellent books. Mm-hmm. I've read a little, I got the opportunity to read A Little Hope, but I can't wait to read Tony's too. I think his is an excellent. It sounds so interesting. It does. And he is going to be talking about how his work as a physician led him to write a medical thriller. And Ethan, as part of our local, the Rehoboth Beach Writers Guild, will be talking about that process and the process of his writing A Little Hope as well. So, and how he got into that frame of mind and uh, an inside look into some local authors. So we encourage you to come out on Saturday, November 20th and Tuesday, November 30th. Mm -hmm. Uh, and enjoy these two uh, wonderful authors. Get some inspiration from them. Yeah, you too can do it. <laughs>